What's up? Now let's talk here and let's talk very vivid about a couple of things. A lot of questions people have about today's economic society and where do they fit in? The agenda that's being pushed by our government and the administration that is in office now that's running this country wants us to, to buy into the fact that illegal immigrants are responsible solely for the economic collapse and the reason why jobs are becoming more scarce to find and outsourcing babies basically uh let's explore that now illegal immigrants coming into this country has this whole nation scared thinking they're still in our jobs they're still in our opportunities so I decided let's go and research it to make sure it's true or not. So researching, checking statistics that the illegal immigrants that come to this country, most of them don't have a lot of education or they don't speak English. And because of this fact, a lot of jobs are very limited to them. They mostly take jobs that are not dealing with working with people. They normally work in farming, food and out, aquaculture, house made, or cook. These are the top commodities of working when they come into the country of the United States. Why? Because those jobs are very low. Like a lot of people don't want to work those jobs. So they're faced with a lot of openings and they have a hard time finding people who want to take those jobs because they're very low paying jobs. And because they're low paying, many people are not interested. So the lack of interest in these jobs has led to a lot of <coughs> <clears throat> these jobs being available in the countries they come from, they may be lucky if they see a dollar thirty-five an hour. And here it is a job where you could pay somebody a legal wage of maybe five dollars an hour, American. People will come in there and work for you and do these job and job. So a lot of the illegal jobs are jobs you don't want. So if you don't want illegal immigrants coming into the country, have your overprivileged son or daughter go and do some of these jobs. If you believe that's the reason why the company is in peril in the job search category. Now, let's look at the other side. The other corporations, and for those who do excel and get higher paying jobs, are doing so because owners of these corporations are hiring them. <clears throat> it's only 22 states that actually use the Social Security verification for immigrants that require that in the country. So other companies are getting by by using and hiring temp workers, blaming only the temp company when before they were just hiring illegal immigrants hands on. But to clean their and wash their hands, they start using temp agencies to fill the gaps so that if anything happens, it falls on the temp agency. That's why you've seen a lot of temp agencies fold or in other words just switch to a new name or new ownership because they were a lot of them were falsifying documents just to get you know things pushed over so now the population or the revenue that these jobs dictate are maybe less than 12 
thousand dollars a year. An average person immigrant illegal salary a year working the jobs they're working, bringing less than twelve thousand a year. Less than twelve thousand a year. That's not going to cause an economic collapse. What it is, is bait and switch. To take your eyes off what's really the problem is the banks. The banks have bankrupt you. They're the ones have a 22 to 32% interest on credit card rates. They're the ones that's going up on your rents and your mortgages. The banks. The banks are doing it. Corporations have done it. Wall Street, they have bankrupt you. They have stolen your money and your funds, stolen your pensions. Greedy owners, greedy banks, cutting corners, cutting costs. If it was going to cost them any type of money, they would rather outsource overseas. To, for better revenue purposes. Even the president of the United States of America right now has outsourced to China because it was better for business. Uh, remember the carrier situation? What he promised, Carrier was sending all those jobs to Mexico. He was going to make sure that he get more American jobs over there, Carrier. Well, he's the president of the United States. Carrier is still sending the jobs over to Mexico. Now, this is not an attack on the president of the United States or the government whatsoever. It is pointing out the facts. Why are you saying illegal immigrants are what's killing this country and bringing it down when they are taking nothing but the jobs you don't want to work? And they are not responsible for the collapse. But we all know who is. But what's going to be done about that? That's the question you need to be asking yourself. I'm out.